Um, the next person up to speak is going to be uh, my friend, Kevin Zeese, and um, a embassy protector who I'm happy to say was able to beat the charges protecting the Venezuelan embassy in DC. So Kevin, the floor is yours. Thank you very much uh, for that introduction. And I just wanna say from the beginning, power to the people. We have the power to make the change if we stay united. We have incredible opportunity now. We see the movements growing and we see now for all this, all clear to see, especially after the DNC and RNC, the convention showed us that the, those parties do not represent the people, that our power is not in elections. Our power is building people power. And we see that happening. We need to build power so that in 2021, the people can rule from below. So we can call general strikes. So we can stop business as usual. We need to be able to make our country ungovernable so our demands are heard and met. That is the only way change will occur. It will not come from Joe Biden or Donald Trump. It will come from the people. We have to understand, this is often very hard for people to understand, but the only path to success is failure. We fail and fail and fail until we win. But every time we try, we build the movement and we get stronger. We can never tell how close we are to success. It's like we're banging on a wall, pounding and pounding. And it's not till that wall begins to crack that we start to see the light come through and we realize we're getting close to that breakthrough moment when change can occur. We see the 2020s as a decade of transformation. The movements have been growing since Occupy in 2011, and then the um, uh, Black Lives Matter movement, the fight for 15, uh, all during the Obama era and the growing of the movements in the, in the Trump era. We see the 2020s as a decade of social transformation. In order to have that transformation to succeed, we need to be organized and educated. In the chat box, you see a, a link to our movement school, how social transformation occurs. That's popularresistance.org slash school. It's a free school where you can learn how movements grow, how they develop the various stages of movements and how it's normal for us to not always be on a linear path to success, but it's a jagged path and we move up and we get stronger. We all know that Donald Trump is terrible. Worst president of my life. His overt racism, his open support for violent white supremacists, his mishandling of the COVID-19 virus causing more than 180,000 deaths so far, probably more than 200,000 by the time we get to the election. His poor response to the economic collapse is leading us into a, another Great Depression. And he consistently puts in place laws for the wealthy while poverty, homelessness, debt, and joblessness increase. But Biden is no better. And I mean no better. For 47 years, he's been wrong on every important issue. My career began uh, when I was in college, going to a anti-racism demonstration in Boston in favor of school integration. At that time, Biden opposed school integration. Then I worked on ending mass incarceration, ending the drug war, while Biden was passing laws to escalate the drug war, passing laws of mandatory sentencing to increase mass incarceration. He's the architect of mass incarceration. Then later in his career, when he became chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, he led the effort, not just voting for the Iraq war, but leading the effort to make the Iraq war happen and every other war. As chair of foreign relations, he put in place massive military budgets, bloated, corrupt budgets, while leading us into war after war. And then when it came to student bankruptcy, he led the effort to make it so students can't get rid of school debt, even in bankruptcy. And now he's even, he's even calling for cutting social security, when we should be doubling or even tripling social security payments. So I'm gonna vote against Trump by voting for what I believe in. There are more alternatives than the two parties. I'll be voting Green candidates, Howie Hawkins and Angela Walker because I'm gonna be voting for Medicare for all. I'm gonna be voting for community control of police, for the eco-socialist Green New Deal, for ending the wealth divide and ending the never ending wars. We all have the power to vote for what we believe in. Candidates reflect the movement. There are many more choices than the two corrupt candidates of the millionaires. And we need to use the elections, the little power we have in the elections, to send a message for what we are for, to show that those who speak for movement issues 
get the movement support. After we vote, we must build people power so that people can rule from below. We must build people power so that no matter who's in office, we can stop the government from operating. We can make the country ungovernable. We can put in place general, general strikes so that our demands are heard and met. That is how we will win. We have a lot to build on from the Occupy movement in 2011 through the Black Lives Matter and Fight for 15 and the current uprisings today. There, were, there have been over 900 wildcat strikes since March. The labor movement is going, the climate justice movement is going, the anti-racism movement is going, the anti-inequality movement is going. We have a lot to build on. The 1% cannot defeat the 99% if we are organized. So don't underestimate ourselves. We can stop this issue. We can make the change we want. Power to the people. Thank you all for being here.